Hey guys, how's it going? Bluebird Gamer here. Welcome back. Okay, so this is an announcement video. I just wanted to clarify and uh, announce a couple things. That wasn't a very good intro, but I'm just going to go with it. So, first off, we've done some work in Bluebird and Laboratories, so I'm just going to come show you guys. I did a bunch of clearing out with my tools I built, which I will show off in a second. Let's just head on in. Oh, get that. Alright, so basically... We didn't do anything with the Tinker's Lab. I built two new rooms here, so that we'll be able to do stuff in there. Uh, Transformers Lab then chains. I also redecorated the kitchen, and I got some of these. Oh, can't do that. I got my Beard Deluxe, which is one of my specials, right here at Blue, Blue Beard Laboratory. Okay, so second thing off, I built my we my tools, as I was talking about. So you guys have all seen Barnabas, and I think that's the only one you've seen, except for maybe the shovels. Because that was in my modifiers video, I believe. So we got Mini Smasher, which is a normal, which is just a pickaxe. It's got a lot of auto repair, good durability, haste and luck, and in, so, so basically it's got Fortune 3. Mega Smasher is a hammer, which is basically the 3x3 three three aspect. It's got good auto repair, high durability, haste and luck. It can also be used as a weapon. It's not a very good weapon, though. This is 46 attack damage. It can never replace Barnabas. A big digger and little digger, uh, the 3x3 three three and the 1x1 one one respectively. Chopper, pine sized chopper, and eagle eyes my bow. It's not actually that good, honestly. Then we got my headhunters, which do about 17 damage a shot. So, I made a mistake in that, in that I wasn't able to get to a perfect kill like I wanted, but it works. It, it's manageable. So, uh, we talked about the new weapons. Third off, I am using a new headset. I hope the volume's okay. It's weird positioning. I'm not used to it. But, so yeah, if you guys hear anything on the on the static end, I'm probably going to watch the video, but if, the, if, you do, if you hear anything I don't, let me know, and I'll experiment with it. Because I was talking on Skype with Rock and Aerodactyl recently, and I heard a bunch of staticky stuff that he couldn't hear. So it may be something on my end, but I'll have to check. I'm going to look into it for you guys. Lastly, which is the most important thing I wanted to make this video about, the other things were just sort of lead, things leading up to it. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a series on Civ Five, yeah, Civilization Five. I'm gonna be doing it. So, I am giving you guys the option of voting for what Civ you want me to play as, like Spain. Um, not we don't have Spain. Sorry, France, England, etc., etc. So go ahead and leave in the comments. Which Civ you want me to play as? You can do Nation or Leader. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna leave all of the Nation titles in the description below. So if you just go ahead and put in one of those in the comments, wh which whoever wins, I will be playing as that leader. So and, and yeah, so when, I, when we do my Civ thing, I'll be playing as that, and I'll have to adapt my strategy to whoever, whichever leader, because I pr I prefer cultural victories because they are so much fun to do. But if if need be, I, I may do a military. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do whatever victory works best with the leader that you guys choose. So, up sorry, I'm not gonna have an outro on this. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you go ahead and hit that go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that would help me out so very much, please. And until next time, guys, this is Blue Ridge Gamer signing off.